Hello and welcome to Toy Shop on Tour. We're here at Newark Houses Museum in Leicester and we're going into the archives. They're letting us into the, all the old stuff. We're hopefully going to find some amazing old toys. It's going to be better than that, Gav. It's going to be a treasure hunt. <laughs> hey. I don't get the reference. What's he on about? Hey, there he is. I knew this guy was here. Wow. So, just a big bear, right? No, this guy is a Leicester legend. Domino's toy shops ran all the way from 1983 right through to 2013. I had to research that because when I asked, I thought it was about five years ago. It wasn't, it was 10 years ago when it happened. Yeah, this guy is amazing. He stood in the window proudly and that was the toy shop. If you were a kid, in Leicester, that was the place you wanted to go, where the big bear was, and he'd be the sign, he'd be the first thing you saw as you approached Domino's. An absolute legendary place. Gutted it's gone, but man, what a memory. And he's enormous. It's nice and go somewhere and get clothes to fit me. You all right with that, mate? But this is it, this is the main event. This is the Domino sign that was outside the shop. It makes my hair stand on end, because as a kid, Domino's was a the shop three, maybe four levels of toys and everything. It was a wonderful place. They had a train going round the whole bottom floor and it came outside around this sign. It was an incredible shop, but it wasn't just toys. It did have an art floor, which for me was sort of, you know, the greatest thing. You get all your pens, your paints, your canvases, everything. And as people remember, in kind of their early teens, if they're around my age, there was a bit of a basement where all the 80s toys still lived that hadn't been bought up yet. So they had loads of carded He-Man. They had uh, AD&D figures. Like I remember the Hook Monster, boxes of the Hook Monster. It's like, remembering it now, it is, it's making me shiver. It was such an amazing place. It really, really was. Museum behave. <laughs> you being oh, there's some classics in here. Oh, look at that Batmobile. Look, Gav, a superpowers Batmobile in the UK. You don't see them. You don't see them. And that box is mint. That's perfect. Oh, that's amazing. There's some really cool items in here. Some like, it shows you as well over here with the N64 games. They did just some weird licenses. They did. That game's probably terrible. But this is more like it here, Stargate, electronic game. That's my cup of tea. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's definitely not mine, but there's loads of stuff here that I like. The Action Man Pally Toy, Space Ranger Captain. Now those suits on those, they all went rotten inside. So you'd end up with like this, This it would melt to the figure. I wonder how that one is, because often if they've not been touched, which I assume is what this one's like, it might be all right. But as soon as they've been touched for some reason, they just go rotten. Oh, look at the skateboard, Gav. That's cool, that isn't it? I bet that whips along as well, yeah, you know, them, yeah. old, uh, them old little ones. Them old plaggy boards. I used yeah. to go on mine on my knees, you know. <laughs> and you go around the corner and you catch your hands on them. Oh, oh brilliant. Nasty. The Barbie, the classic 80s style Barbie. I think she's the dancing one as well, it looks like it. And the Dealy Boppers. Dealy Boppers. Did you wear them, Gav? Oh, I, I, may have, I may have worn them. Many a night <laughs> out with Gav with the Dealy Boppers on. That's awesome. Oh, we got an Etch-A-Sketch, which is one of my absolute favourite toys of all time. I've got them in all colours, all sizes. Yes. Can I have a bit of an appeal now to the public? <laughs> Please don't bring us Etch-A-Sketches into the shop, because otherwise he gets nothing done. For like <laughs> days, we just sat on, it, on his computer, it'd be like that. Yeah. On top of his computer with no work getting done. Cindy's lovely, isn't she? Cindy's face was so much nicer than Barbie. She's much cuter. And also, to scale, I reckon me and Cindy would get into the same hat. <laughs> she did have an enormous head. Mm, just like mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm more Barbie style head. <laughs> I'm more glamour. Tiny, <laughs> tiny head. Yeah, it's amazing. 
But what we're really here, what we're really here for is a dig through the archives. We get to look through, try and find some treasure that isn't currently on display, or maybe hasn't ever been displayed. Gab, this is gonna make us basically explorers. I don't think these guys know everything they've got. They can't <laughs> know. There's tons of it. We'll soon see. Let's go. trip over anything. There's some cool looking like old uh, old things. <laughs> some old kitchen. It's like, being, it's like being in a museum. <laughs> oh. Oh hang on I can see things. Got some little bits, some little wooden toys. Watch the step there. Oh will do. There's a royal Rubik's cube in there. There's some gloves here. I think you're meant to wear the gloves to look through these. Well, I think we need, might need to find a light. I'm going to try and find a light. Hold on. There's got to be a light, isn't there? There's got to be a light. You'd think. Oh, it was hidden. <laughs> It was hidden behind hey. there. <laughs> oh, there you go. Gav, I found the light just in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> oh, flipping heck. Oh. Wow. It's very... I mean, it smells old, doesn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Gav, you get some free gloves. <laughs> that, these aren't a part of an exhibit. They're all like for Victorian children's gloves. <laughs> I'm not said to us when you go up there, if you want to handle anything, you need to put the gloves on. I've got a slight <laughs> issue. <laughs> you and your massive hands. Oh, Let's try it. With my dainty digits. Oh. <sighs> Great. So anyway, Gav, Gav genuinely looks like a, sno a snooker umpire. <laughs> <laughs> Magician. <laughs> oh dear. These are farmyard toys. Oh, they've not had these out, apparently. It says removed from the toy gallery. Oh, okay. Better with the lights on, isn't it? Yes. Actually, see. Oh, these are nice. Little plastic animals. And yeah. Stuff. Look at this dude. Oh, he's <laughs> ace. He's great. Rubbery. Like translucent, rubbery dinosaur dude. Whoa. Let's put everything back as we found it. Yeah. This is a collection of toys. This one's okay. labelled. Let's, you, you have a dig. And I'll have a dig through the other one. Got lots of little uh, little plastic bits. Lots of little bits of castle in here. Yeah. That's a copy. That's a copy, plastic copy of a dinky toy. That's uh, cool. Yeah. A little uh, matchbox. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm going to dig through this one. I'm going to be the fi first person to find something really exciting. It's all been catalogued. Lots of airfix and stuff like that. But this is all this kind of stuff. Airfix. That's it solid as part of the fort. There's something bright down here. What's this? Looks like black and plastic. Oh, that's sweet. This is made, this is Tempo, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's like little, Tempo little bank robbery. Wild West City Bank. I've got to say, I'm quite enjoying the gloves now, they're on. <laughs> we'll get these for the shop. Help me make us a cut above. <laughs> yeah, so you may handle the items, but you have to dig through the pound box with the, with the glove on. <laughs> but that's lovely. Little Wild West City. That's quite early tempo as well, that. There you go. You can get the set. Beautiful. Let's wrap it back up. 
I want to find more stuff like that. That's, that's a nice item, is that? Well, Leicester and toys go hand in hand. Or hand in glove. Call it what you will. Essentially, Palitoy. We all know about Palitoy. They were Castelloid beforehand. And they donated a lot of items to the Leicester group of museums. So, we're hoping to find some of that stuff as we go through. And there's also Invicta Plastics. But the companies like Palitoy and Victor, they built stuff for other companies as well. It wasn't just toys they did. Palitoy even branched out and did items like, do you remember the old fairy liquid bottle from the 60s? No, I don't either. But in my dad's greenhouse when I was a child, there was some there on the back row that dad had kept. And that's my memory of that. And there's one of those downstairs. All these other things that these companies did, they were making toys for the companies, distributing toys for the companies. Lots and lots of things came through Leicester. It's an amazing place, really, back in the day. And this is what we want to find today, is some of this Leicester or Leicestershire history. So, the Matchbox service station. Matchbox cars were everywhere. Metal cars. At one point, they were producing a million models a week, Matchbox. This Matchbox service station was a cut above. On the top of this, you'd have this metal sign which went round and a plastic base, plastic parts, they're normally quite beat up. But it's such a beautiful box. Yes, it's a matchbox, and yes, it looks like a matchbox, but beautiful thing. Really, really cool. I like these a lot. These are really nice. You could buy the petrol pumps to go with it as well. So you've got these separate petrol pumps. You could buy sign sets. You could buy all sorts for them. And then you'd have all your cars going through there. That's wonderful. Lovely bit of a toy history. This box is great because these toys have all been played with but they're in good condition for these. We've got Timpo, Wild West. That's lovely. That's been enjoyed and played with very carefully. The reins are unbroken look. That's nice. This is what they did. They put extra bits in. So this is part of a box. And this would be a scene. So at the back of your battle, you could have a scene set up. So if you were playing with them on the side, you could imagine them in, back in that scenario. It's lovely. I love that fact about old toys. It wasn't just, you got to play with the box as well. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I like this. I'd have this in my house. Look at that. Oh, she's a lamp. She's got a massive hole in her head. <laughs> look at the face though. She's so cute. Oh, look at, look at the enormous feet as well. Oh, that's a great item. Oh, I'd be happy to stumble across one of them. Antique fair or something. Keeping my eye out. Got all the, just like, this is some kind of glove puppet. Look at him. Look at that face there. <laughs> He's awesome. Oh, I've spotted a toy classic. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Who didn't have a slinky as a kid? People who lived in bungalows, I imagine. There we go. Oh, it is a proper metal one. They're all plastic now. Not as much fun. But look, that is a proper classic slinky. Awesome. You can still pick them up. If you wanted a metal one, you'd get one. Much better than the plastic. Really, really cool. Great box as well. I love the classic. Classic artwork. Oh, so cool, by merit. Love it. Oh, what's this? This looks cool. There we go. Oh, it's got some weight to it as well. Dinosaur Museum Collection. Oh, that's cool. That's a whole set. You've got a whole set of dinosaurs in there. Now this is Invicta Plastics from Leicester. Uh, now we've talked about them many times. Now, ideally, we'd get into this. So let's go and have a word. Oh, here we go. We've been allowed to have a proper look in here. Oh yes, that's it. They're the classic. Look at that woolly mammoth. These are beautiful. These would normally have been so well played with, they'd be a bit rough and ready. Look how white the tusks are. That's fantastic. And there's some huge, huge ones. A little stegosaurus there. <laughs> He's got a funny little face. Oh, I 
again. Is this a raptor? No. Ooh, they've all got, they've got real character to them, these have. <laughs> Not seen them before, they're really good. Oh, here's one of my favourites, the pterodactyl. Or Tronodon, maybe. Oh, I could play all day with these. Plesiosaur, maybe? It's all coming back from school. I may have been getting it wrong at school, though. He's angry. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying these. Yeah, the big fella. These are beautiful. What a great find. And as well, there was a big poster, a big educational poster that the kids would have on their walls. Absolutely fantastic item. Here we go, let's finish on this one. This one's like my spirit animal. <laughs> Look at him. Amazing. Oh, such cool items, I love it. Oh, some great dinky toys in here. That's beautiful. That's really nice. I want to get that out. <gasps> oh, hold on a minute. Sidetracked. A Mayo composite aircraft. Right, let's open this up. These are normally broken. Yeah, this is broken. <laughs> Absolutely standard. Uh, I said it was going to be broken and it is. This is something you really need gloves for. So this is a lovely, lovely thing. It's very, very hard to find unbroken because as you'll see on here, the metal work has started to really go and it's lost its wingtip here but such a hard piece to get. I've never owned an unbroken one. Never, ever, never, ever. This is lovely. I'm gonna turn it over very carefully. Oh, just such a cool thing. I'm gonna put it back before I uh, break it because literally, if I did drop it, I'd be getting quite a hefty bill from the museum. Quite a hefty bill. But that's really nice. I don't want to drop that. That's something that really needs to be kept very, very carefully in order to keep it like that. Because it, a slight damn ding or bang on that and it will, it will just break. With a lot of the early dinky toys, dinkies came out in the 1930s and a lot of the earlier ones from the 30s, 40s, they're very, very delicate, let's say. So you don't want to drop them. Some are worth an enormous amount of money. But yeah, I still want to go inside this box though. But I think, having seen what happened with that, I want to take that outside so I can put it on that table and have a look. Glad I wore the gloves. <laughs> this is Ace. We've got it undone. I've not looked yet. Oh. So you'd find this sold separately as well as in this gift set. And what we have again is the issues with metalwork. But pay attention here. Again, there's a scene you can see behind there. So you've got your tank, then you've got your three piece of military vehicle. And this one's no exception. It has got damage, it has got issues, but it's not by any means too bad. That one is broken at the tow hook. This one though, which is unusual, has not. Lovely, lovely thing. Again, this is one of the most common parts, but you often find the post-war version, not the pre-war version, because the pre-war versions are broken. This one's not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's a nice thing. Now these tanks, they had little tracks which were made out of metal, which meant they lasted quite well, although they do tend to break. This isn't bad for one of these. It's a lovely old thing. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's the kind of thing that these days is sadly very underappreciated because, simply because of the age of it. Nobody really remembers this. But I love the information on here that you get. See, it's not just that. You get an education. It tells you all about which each piece of the model is going to do or would have done in the scenario in the Royal Tank Corps. 
Educational, baby. That's what it's about. Right, Gav. I'm told in here, mind you, Red, there are loads and loads of dolls. It's just about where we go. Not this way. Mind your head. Oh, there's a lot of boxes through here. There is a lot of boxes in there. What oh, creaky. I can see feet. I can see feet. <laughs> clues on the end of the boxes. This is really nice and curated because you, you get to be able to look at them and go, oh, okay, what do I want to look at? There's an Armand Marseille. So, dolls, a lot of the dolls of that era, of the early era, aren't worth what they used to be. But there are dolls still of that era that are worth a tremendous amount of money. But really, it's not about the money for us. It's about what we like. It's always about what we like. And Gav, I've got a feeling here, might have a few that he likes. So I'm going way back. I'm getting really old now. This is 1800s. This is a wooden doll from the 1800s and it is huge. And I've got to be really careful with this. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh look, it's still got a little bit of its hair. Oh man, look at those eyes. What a face. It's a bit like, it looks a bit like an alien. <laughs> But this was, this was it. This was how dolls looked. How did the kids turn out? <laughs> Look at it with this beautiful embroidery on the dress. Oh, it's just lovely to see stuff this old and this close up. We're so lucky to be here in these storerooms. That's wonderful. Oh, it's got like tiny, tiny eyelashes as well. I wonder how you put a value on something like that as well. Here we have it, I found the box for Little Miss Echo. Look at it, the doll was in mint condition. The box is in equally good condition. You won't find one of these anywhere. She repeats your words and songs in your own voice. So it has a little recording mechanism in there. Oh, and she's got a, a genuinely beautiful face as well. And for an old doll, that's unusual as we've seen. How cool was that? Amazing. Just having to dig through just some of their archives today. I know, just the opportunity. It's that, amazing. You get to see some of the stuff that yeah. no one's seen. No one's seen that. that you know, I'm still blown away by that composite plate. That sort of thing. That just, you know, you don't see it. That does it for you, doesn't and it? And you know what, Gav? Whisper it. Shh. It's a free You've gloves. stolen the gloves. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <Mom>. <laughs> Quicker.